In recent history, it's become common for many evangelicals in North America and for those who come under their influence to believe that there is a fundamental separation between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is generally seen as law, while the New Testament is viewed as gospel. The Old Testament is thought to stress works, but the New Testament emphasizes grace. The Old Testament is perceived as bringing only judgment, whereas the New Testament brings salvation. By contrast, the Reformed tradition looks at the whole Bible as presenting a unified theology. Law is in both the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Gospel is in both Testaments. Good works are required by both Testaments. Divine grace brings salvation in both Testaments. There is judgment in both the Old and the New Testament, and salvation comes in both the New and the Old Testament. Now, of course, there are differences between the Testaments, but these differences are simply developmental. That is, they represent developments of biblical faith from earlier stages to later stages. But there is still a fundamental theological unity between the Old and New Testaments. Often when I speak to Christians, uh, they act as if the Old Testament and New Testaments are completely different in the way they speak about God and the Gospel. But the longer I spend reading the Bible, the clearer it becomes to me and to many others that actually the Old Testament and New Testament speak with one voice. On the road to Emmaus, Jesus made clear to the disciples that uh, the whole of the Old Testament, both the law, the prophets, the writings, they all speak clearly of him, of the Gospel, and of the implications of the Gospel. So the whole structure of the Bible is based on God acting towards humanity in grace and then in the light of that grace calling people like us to live in response to him, in obedience to his commands and to live in a life which reflects what is ultimately the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ. So increasingly, uh, as I read the Old Testament and the New Testament, I hear them speaking with one voice whilst uh, the commands that God gives are shaped and tailored to time and space but before and after Christ. They are based on the same indicatives and essentially ask the same of his people. When we properly consider the differences between the Old and New Testaments, we conclude with the Westminster Confession of Faith in chapter 7, section 6, that there are not two covenants of grace differing in substance, but only one under various administrations. Now, to be sure, this emphasis on the unity of Scripture has led to some errors in Reformed theology. Sometimes not enough distinction is made between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yet, this emphasis on the unity of the Bible is one of the greatest strengths of Reformed theology. You'll notice that in these lessons, we'll use the Old Testament as much, if not more, than the New Testament as we explore how to build our theology. Our goal will be to construct a theology that accords with the whole Bible, not just with the New Testament. The influence of the Reformed tradition on these studies will be evident in this way at nearly every turn.